How's everyone doing today? This is Dr. Karras. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk to you about something that's been in the media a ton in the past few years. It's one of those buzzwords that the, the processed food companies put on their, their products to try to make them more appealing than they may be. So people who are trying to be health conscious are, are looking for the buzzwords to, to, to make themselves healthier. And that's going to be omega-3 fats. But I'm not only going to be talking about omega-3 fats today, I'm going to be talking about omega-6 fats as well. Because you can't talk about one without the other because they work in, in a ratio to help promote health in your body. So if you, if you were to look at a nutrition label on a product, on, on the nutrition label it's going to say total fats. Under the total fats is going to say trans fats, saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and then polyunsaturated fats. Omega-3s and omega-6s are polyunsaturated fats. And what that means is that they're essential fatty acids. They, when, when something's essential, it means that you cannot make it in your body. If you can't make it in your body, you have to get it through your diet. So the foods that you're eating are providing you with the, the proper fatty acids. And if you're eating the wrong types of foods, your body's not going to have the correct ratio of fatty acids or enough of the fatty acids to promote health in your body. So that's, that's one of the biggest things. Now, they have many different functions in your body. I'm going to go over two of the functions today. One of the functions is that these fatty acids, they make up every single cell layer in your body. So the outside of every cell has two layers around it, and they're both made up of fatty acids. And if you don't have the correct fatty acids or the wrong amount of fatty acids, then it's going to alter this layer, and that causes big problems. Research has shown that we have between 30 trillion and 100 trillion cells in our body which is a ton of cells in our body. So if there's an issue with your cells, there's going to be an issue with your health. If you don't have the proper cell health, then the nutri nutrients aren't going to be able to get in the cells or out of the cells, and then toxins are going to get trapped in your cells, which leads to disaster down the road. The second function of the fatty acids is that they're precursors to a hormone-like substance called eicosanoids. And eicosanoids cause inflammation, and they regulate inflammation. So you don't have to remember the word eicosanoid, but just remember that fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6 can regulate inflammation. This is a, this is a huge thing, so remember that. Now, now there's, there's different ratios of, of fatty acids for every person, but the, the ratio that we should be around would be a 1 to 4 ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. So I'm going to use these omega-3 pills here to give you an example. So we should have 1 omega-3 to four omega-6s. So this is a one-to-one -one ratio. A one-to-one -one ratio isn't necessarily a bad thing, but we want to shoot for a one-to-four ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. In our current westernized processed food diet, we're getting one omega-3 for every 20 omega-6s. All the way upwards, I've seen research showing that some people are eating a ratio of one to 50. So we're eating 50 times too much omega-6s in our diet. And this is a big problem. Anytime this ratio is so out of whack, it's going to cause inflammation in our body. Now, when I'm talking about inflammation, I'm talking about, yeah, when, you're, when you go out running or you play basketball and you roll your ankle, your ankle's going to swell up and it's going to be painful. That's inflammation. Now, there's good inflammation and there's bad inflammation. That's a healing type of inflammation. Now, the bad inflammation is when you have a, a really bad ratio, like a 1 to 20 ratio. That causes bad inflammation. And that's linked to heart disease, cancer, and also a big issue with this is a lot of people think that cholesterol is actually the cause of heart disease when it's not. Inflammation of your arteries is the cause of heart disease. If, if your arteries are inflamed, it causes scarring on your arteries. And when you have scarring on your arteries, then the cholesterol, when it comes through the artery, it can attach that scar, and then that's when you get the buildup and the blockage in their arteries, and that's what actually is going to cause the, the heart disease. So that's one of the big misconceptions that that a lot of people are just starting to understand. So now that you know that these omega-3 and these omega-6s in a bad ratio can cause inflammation, I'm going to go over a few foods that have omega-3s in them and some of the foods that have omega-6s in them. So some of the foods that have omega-3s in them are going to be your grass-fed meats, the wild game, your omega-3 eggs, which come from free-range chickens that can run around. You're going to have wild fish, not the farm fish, and then green vegetables. Green vegetables are a phenomenal source of omega-3s. And then also flax seed, chia seed, hemp seeds, these are all going to be sources of omega-3s. So these are going to be some of the, the foods that you really want to try to get in your diet and really try to concentrate these to get these as the main sources of food in your diet. Now, the omega-6 foods that we have way too many of in our, in our diet are going to come from the grain-fed animals, 
because anything that is a grain is going to be inflammatory. It's going to be more omega-6 dominant. So grains, flours, seeds, all processed foods are going to be mostly omega-6 dominant. And then grain-fed meats, your caged chickens, and these caged chickens that are producing eggs are also going to have inflammatory eggs. And then your farm-raised raised fish. You really want to stay away from those foods. They're very inflammatory. The way I like to look at it is when you sit down to have a meal, you have two options. You have the meal over here, which is going to be your fast food meal, your hamburger, your fries, and your Coke. And that's going to be very inflammatory, very highly concentrated with omega-6 fats. And it's going to be very inflammatory. And then over here, you have a salad, and you have spinach, romaine lettuce, you have avocados, you have olive oil, and then you're just drinking a glass of water. That's going to be very anti-inflammatory. So anytime you sit down to a meal, you have two options. It's either going to cause inflammation, or it's going to decrease and regulate inflammation. And you always want to be decreasing and regulating inflammation, because this is going to prevent the heart disease, the cancer, and all these issues that can happen down the road. So you have to make a, a good decision when it comes to these things. And that's pretty much what the whole omega-3 craze is about that, that's been going on for the last few years. So you need to really focus on getting proper omega-3s and don't fall for the processed foods that are labeled you know, omega-3 enhanced, enriched omega-3. You don't, really don't want to fall for those. So that's all I have for you guys today. This is Dr. Karras telling you to take your health into your hands and do your own research.